Hello family members and today you're welcome to another edition of the King Stevens Hold and Movement. Today I'm going to be real quick because I have no intention to take much of your time. So I'm going to be answering a very very important question from a video director from Zambia. Um, I don't know if it's a boy or girl but the name is Letish Photos and the person goes Hey Dr. King Stevens, I watch each and every episode on YouTube. You are amazing. Now I got a question about Da Vinci. Is it okay to get editing done in Premiere and color grading Da Vinci? Or we can use dynamic link like we use when we are in Premiere and dive it to our Adobe After Effects. Kindly help me out on this. I'm using Da Vinci Resolve 14. Good question. It's a very, very important question. Today I'm going to be showing you the workflow, my workflow. I'll just open Premiere Pro. First of all, I like to edit in Premiere Pro because um, it's very, very flexible and divert to DaVinci Resolve where I'll do my color grading, then bring it back to Premiere Pro where I'll be able to do the final touches, then export the video. So in Premiere Pro, I want to make sure I get my editing done and want to make sure that I place my files to be on the same line, like so. So I don't want to have scattered files because it's gonna disturb you take note davinci resolve does not read a lot of things from premiere pro davinci resolve does not read for example this um cinematic frame davinci resolve will not read that so you want to make sure you delete that and before you delete that what i do is i always um duplicate my sequence this is my sequence just click duplicate then i'm gonna open the duplicate version i'll come right over here and delete this and I'll go over my video and make sure that I remove all the visual effects I did in Premiere Pro because DaVinci Resolve will not read that. For example, this I did this effect, this blur effect. See, so I'm gonna delete these effects. This is a video I did for DJ Zimanto featuring Kosi and Mimi, we did this video some months back and the video is out. The link is going to be on the description box below. So I now have my video ready for DaVinci Resolve to color grade and I'm ready to export to DaVinci Resolve. So how do I do that? I come over to file, click on export, go to Final Cut Pro XML, click on there, come over to my file DJ Zomanto, create a new folder colored, create a new folder again, um, Premiere Pro XML then now i can now save my xml file over there then i can close adobe premiere pro go over to davinci resolve this is davinci resolve 14 it's a great software and it's free you can just go ahead and download the link is going to be on the description box below you can download it it's great it's flexible in color grading the reason why i like to color grade in davinci resolve is because davinci resolve is really really flexible but i really enjoy premiere pro when i'm editing because it's really flexible in editing i'll just create uh a new project right over here i'll come over to my file go to import i'll come over here import xml click on that locate my folder where i have my xml click on it remove this using size and information then click ok then i have my file that's it so very easy now you can go ahead and color grade as you want and when you're done color grading you can now export back to premiere pro so how do you do that come over to the deliver box let's assume we're done color grading i haven't colored these images yet assume that we we've colored this image i'll just come over here to deliver come over to premiere xml you see the link so davinci resolve and premiere pro has been working hand in gloves to make sure we have this um option ready so we have to give a big shout out to them very very encouraging okay so right over here i'll just click the location and locate where i have my folder the jesus man to call out yeah i'll create a new folder where i'll call this davinci resolve xml so dr xml click ok i'm gonna save my xml file inside this folder so i'll click ok make sure you render at source resolution make sure you render at source resolution keep this format the same uncompressed rgb 10 bits keep it the same okay so when you're done setting this up you just add render queue and right away you can start rendering so i'm gonna be back when the video 
is done rendering okay so when you're done exporting in davinci resolve you just close um davinci resolve already then you come over to your premiere pro tab you double click to import a sequence and you come over to let's say dj zumento you go over to color you go to davinci resolve xml you're going to see this sequence you just open it i just want you to know that um normally i did not export the video from davinci resolve because i don't want to waste much of my time and your time so but when you export it from davinci resolve this is how you're going to find the files the files are going to be like this you have videos like these and you have um one sequence file like this which is the xml so you're going to click on the xml so this is how your files are going to come the same like how you left from premiere pro it's going to come back to you the same but with colors so now you can now go ahead and maybe soften the video make it sharp you know do some light corrections remove some noise since you have a free version you can remove noise in davinci resolve do all that you need to do then finally export the video so that's how you get your files from premiere to davinci resolve and back to premiere thank you for staying throughout this video tutorial and hope you've learned something from it go ahead and like the video share the video too if you learned something from it so that others too can learn because it's all about whole hands movement thank you once more for staying true for those who haven't subscribed yet you can just go ahead and subscribe for those who are just watching you're definitely welcome and see you next